time, such a time as this, we just give God the glory. Come on. Yes. 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 Give God the glory. Come on, somebody. Give God the glory. 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 in the glory. Amen. You can rest in the glory. Amen. You can live in the glory. Amen. Oh God, we thank you. Amen. Oh, give God the glory and the honor. Amen. We praise God for who he is and all he's done. We give God the glory for his son Jesus the Christ. And we give God the glory for the Holy Ghost and that for the mighty burning fire. You see, we give God the glory for the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is in us. Amen. And that, look, and that is the depths of our soul. Amen. Oh, we can rise up and rise above everything. Amen. And give God all the praise. Come on, somebody, give him the glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just give God praise and honor. Amen. And thank you. We thank God for all that we have seen, all that we have witnessed, all that we have heard. Amen. We can always count on the men of goodwill to give us something different and innovative. Amen. We thank God for that. Amen. I wanted to get on my Facebook Live so bad, but, but, but amen. But I didn't want to be discombobulated when it was time to preach. I got to teach somebody how to use my Facebook Live. Amen. That was worthy. Amen. But come on, y'all. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Thank God for our worship leader that's been with us all month long. Come on, let's give God some love for our worship leader. Thank God for him. Amen. Amen. Again, thank God for this great choir. Amen. 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 Sister Alice and Brother Matt. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. For all of our deacons and our trustees. Amen. Amen. The media ministry. Amen. The ushers on the wall. Amen. 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 And to the household of faith. Amen. Come on and give God some praise for that. Amen. 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 How many of y'all ready for a word from the Lord today? Amen. How many of y'all need a word from the Lord today? Amen. Amen. I'm going to call your attention. Amen. To the book of Mark. Amen. Chapter chapter 6. I'm going to read for you in your hearing um, the first six verses. Mark chapter 6. Amen. In the in the Gospels of the New Testament. Amen. And uh, when you found that, please help me honor God by standing to your feet. Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 6. Amen. In the Gospels, in the Gospel, the good news, the glad tidings of great joy. Amen. Concerning Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 Mark 6, starting in, starting in verse 1. And he reads. <clears throat> And he went out from thence and came unto his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence has this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him? That even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. It is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could do no, no mighty work, save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went around about on the villages 
teaching. May the Lord ever add a blessing to the reading of his word, sanctify it in our hearts, therefore making it really good for our souls. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for you. Thank you, God, for everything you do, God. We thank you for what we've seen and what we've heard and, God, what we have felt. And now, God, it's preaching time. And, God, I pray for the type of anointing that makes preaching easy. God, I pray for the type of anointing uh, that makes hearing your word easy. God, I pray uh, for the type of anointing that makes doing your word real easy. And now, God, we pray uh, that, that you dip us down deep into that well of anointing uh, and bring us up dripping wet uh, that I might be able to preach a word from on high. Uh, and God, while well, you're partnering with me in the power of your anointing, uh, oh God, we pray that you partner with me uh, in the cover of your covenant. Cover us, O oh God. Cover me, O oh God, with the blood, the precious blood of Jesus, that the devil will know who I am and who not to mess with. In Jesus' name, we do pray that and let the household of faith say, Amen. Amen. Today, for our time together in the Word of God, I just want to preach for a little while uh, for the sermon series. It's all about growth. Uh, and today's sermon title is. Uh, you just got to keep it moving. Amen. You just got to keep it moving. That's right. Or in the language of urban slang, amen, to keep it moving huh, means to keep on going huh, with that thing. Keep on going with that. Don't bring that mess over here. I am not trying to have any of that today. See, often talking about a, a person, a thing, an attitude, or an emotion. See, when it is used like that, uh, keep it moving uh, is a warning that whatever or whoever is bringing some foolishness into my life, uh, know this, uh, I ain't trying to have that I today, amen, so okay. just keep Hello. it moving. Uh, but can I tell you, there's another way in which uh, keep it moving can be used, uh, and this is really what our sermon is talking about today. Uh, uh, the title phrase, just keep it moving, uh, is a reminder uh, slash encouragement uh, to the one using the <laughs> thing uh, that I don't have to stay here uh, and put up with this. Amen. Uh, Y'all don't have to be subjected to, to this way of doing a thing, thinking a thing, uh, or even saying a thing. Amen. I have the ability to not only leave an, an, an unprofitable situation, conversation, or location, uh, but I can rise above it by just keeping it moving. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And let me stop right there. Amen. Uh, because I know that sometimes preachers have a gift uh, to put words together in such a manner, amen, that, that they sound real good, amen, and, and kind of have a flow to them. Uh, so people have a tendency to go along with that flow uh, and not truly be in the know. See how I did that? Amen. Uh, amen. But so let me stop right now and show you this. Uh, when it comes to just keeping it moving, uh, leaving and rising above it all, uh, 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 may seem like the same thing uh, with them, because with them uh, both, amen, uh, you have left the situation behind, but, but understand this, uh, you can leave a situation, uh, but not have the victory over a situation, amen, uh, uh, but if you rise above it, amen, uh, not only have you left the situation, amen, uh, but you have used said situation uh, to propel yourself to greater heights uh, and secure your victory, come on, uh, so can I tell you that rising above a situation allows God to step into our situation and set things in order. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes we just need to get out of God's way and let him make it do what it do. Amen. The church, can I tell you, see, this is where our growth mindset comes in. See, in every situation, circumstance, happenstance, obstacle, trial, tribulation, 
situation set up, set back, fall down and failure, amen, that, that is an opportunity to grow, amen, amen. That, to show growth uh, and to look back and one day and say, wow, uh, uh, this is where I grew the most, amen, uh, when I was really treated the worst, amen. amen. That, can I tell somebody, uh, the rose, amen, the seeds of a rose uh, and a flower garden uh, are often put under a pile of manure, amen, uh, but despite being covered by dung uh, and in a real smelly situation, uh, they somehow find the wherewithal uh, to grow into a beautiful flower. Why? Uh, because the rose kept it moving uh, by continuing to grow no matter what uh, was going on all around them. Uh, so let that be a lesson to you today. Uh, they don't care what has been dumped on you, uh, where you have been left out at, uh, you can still keep it moving uh, and keep on growing. Somebody uh, the church, can you see uh, you owe it to yourself um, to keep it moving uh, and keep on growing uh, and keep it moving uh, and not get bogged down by what others do, think, or say, uh, despite uh, whether others want to acknowledge your growth uh, or not, embrace your growth or, or not, celebrate your growth uh, or not. Uh, we just uh, keep it, we just need to keep it moving. Uh, see, sometimes we need to get out of the way uh, so yeah. God can make a way. Uh, sometimes you just gotta keep it moving uh, and Amen. watch God work it out uh, and work Amen. in you. Uh, yeah. Can I tell you that's growth, y'all? Uh, amen uh, and amen. amen. Uh, can I tell you today, Mark 6 uh, is our text today. Uh, it is an example in faith uh, and, and, and strength uh, uh, to keep it moving. Uh, amen. Uh, while you continue to grow. Uh, uh, the first point I want to make to you today and that beware of local minded people, amen. Mm -hmm. Beware of local minded people. Uh, see, when I was coming up, amen, uh, we used to refer to some folks uh, that didn't want nothing, uh, didn't want to do nothing, didn't want to see nobody else be nothing, uh, just as local, amen. Uh, Maybe they were just average, mundane, run of the mill type of folk, amen. Small minded and usually very negative. Uh, can I tell you, there's nothing particularly wrong uh, with being average, amen, in itself. Uh, but the problem comes in that when the person Person, uh, and that is of that local mindset uh, believe that everyone that looks like him, amen, uh, or off of where they are from uh, is local too uh, and don't want anything out of life uh, and that they won't amount to anything uh, in their estimation. Uh, and not only do they not, will they not amount to anything, uh, but they'll do their very best uh, to hold you down, amen. Uh, and, and look, uh, that is... Uh, uh, and at the least, amen, uh, an average person thinks uh, that maybe that well, that's more, more than possibility that you are lower class than them. Uh, but can you can I tell you today you need to watch those people uh, because they will populate your path uh, and your journey to your destiny, amen. Uh, you you got to watch those people, amen. Uh, for every minute that you begin to try to grow, uh, they try to find ways to hold you back and, and hold you down. Uh, you think on the low minded folks uh, that will line up to tear you down uh, when they see you trying to do a positive thing, uh, when they see you trying to push uh, above and rise above your, your situation, uh, when they see you trying to overcome your challenges, uh, they are there to try uh, and not only knock you down, amen, uh, but they are, amen, uh, to keep you down. Uh, but can I tell somebody the devil is, uh, the devil is alive. Can uh, I tell you the devil is alive. God has ordained some things in you. God has ordained growth for you. God has ordained power for you. God has ordained overcoming for you. Greater is you than is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God has designed you for growth. And now you don't need to stop growing. You just need to keep it moving. Come on. See, in our church, amen, it was the same way for Jesus. Look with me around about verse 1 to Today in our text, uh, them local-minded folk, amen, uh, were out in full force. Uh, Jesus came to his home country uh, where he was born and where, where 
where he was raised, for he was born in Bethlehem, but he was raised in Nazareth. Can I tell you already, those local minded, small minded people had already cast a net of low achievement and low expectation over Nazareth just because of the zip code. Do it sound like some other places that we know already? The net, the net of low achievement had already come up because of the home in which you were born. Did they remind you of anybody else? Already low achievement was already assigned to you by the time you were in the third grade. Come on, but you got to look. By the time folks are in the third grade, there are tests being done that try to determine your propensity for going to jail or not. So by the time you're in the third grade, and by the time you get 18, they can have enough prisons built to hold you. Come on, but I'm here to tell you that no matter where you started from, you can grow beyond that. Come on, somebody. But look, low expectations in Nazareth. Nazareth was just, was just so good that very little was expected out of the inhabitants of Nazareth. The Bible lets us know that the attitude of those small-minded local folk uh, in the book of John 1, uh, verse 46, uh, where the question was asked, uh, can any good thing uh, come out of Nazareth? Uh, can any real thing uh, come out of Nazareth? Uh, I'm just so glad somebody answered and said, come and see a man. Come on, come on somebody. Uh, I'm just so glad somebody answered and said, come and see a man. Uh, but there is some that come forth out of this place. Uh, God said uh, that he will, ooh, God. Uh, God said he was like a Oh, look, a, a tender root in a dry land. Come on, huh? somebody need to come huh, and see a man. Huh? Yeah, I thank God huh, that he will raise up those huh, that would see past huh, where you come from. Huh? See where huh, you could go huh, and acknowledge that you are on the, the grow. Huh? And I tell you, Jesus came home to Nazareth, huh, having a reputation huh, of anointing and power and wisdom. Huh? Many knew him as a teacher huh, and a healer, huh? but in Nazareth, he was just seen in Mary's son. Yes, Them small-minded, local-minded yes, folk. Yes. Amen. They would rather see you doing nothing yes. and hanging on the corner yes. than doing well. Oh, you don't God. have to waste yes. your time yes. on those small-minded yes. folk. Yes. Just go ahead and keep it moving. Yes. And God will do the rest. Yes. The next thing I want to tell you today is my second point. Those small-minded, local-minded folk will never believe their eyes when they comes to you. Look at verse 2. Jesus began to teach and preach in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Verse 2 said that many that heard him, they were astonished, saying, how in the world did he get all this in him? Where did it come from? When did he get it? He had not been educated by our masters and teachers. He had no pedigree. He had no degree. He got no published theology. Oh, that, or at least that's what they thought. Uh, 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 but can I tell you, Jesus, uh, he had a pedigree uh, yeah. because he was the son yeah. of the most high God. Uh, Jesus conferred uh, his own decree uh, as he was the true master uh, and the teacher of all. Uh, and everything in the world uh, consisted and existed uh, all because of him. Uh, and as far as having uh, a published theology, uh, but let me tell you, uh, they, they can quote a little John 1 and 1. Uh, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. And the Word was with God. Come on. Come on. I tell you, Jesus is in the Word. And I believe by that very description, it is written. So Jesus was validated by all their criteria. Because he had a written theology. Matter of fact, the Word said that if all the deeds and things that Jesus had done, they could not be contained in all the books. So why do you want to label me? And someone not having it when I got it all. Come on, come on, somebody. Oh, God, don't you know that you are a child of God? You got it all too. You got access to the king. You got access to the kingdom. You got access to the throne. You got access to heaven. Oh, come on, somebody. We need to stand up and just keep it moving. Shake that dust off and let him know that I'm a 
child of the most living God. He looked at her. Y'all don't local minded, small minded folk uh, found it hard to deny uh, the great wisdom that was in Jesus uh, and the great power with what she, per with, with, with what she performed miracles. Uh, but for the local small minded people, uh, as much as they could not deny what they saw, uh, they still could not receive uh, what they saw. Uh, oh, but don't, uh, don't let it come to you uh, because what you have, uh, whether or not they receive it or not, <laughs> they're not change uh, the validity of it uh, yeah. uh, whether they receive oh, you or God. not. Uh, it does not change from who, from which it came. Uh, oh, whether they receive yeah. you yeah. or not. Uh, oh, it don't change the anointing that is in you uh, oh, because God uh, has yeah. put it there. Uh, yeah. So keep it moving. Uh, yeah. Keep it moving. Uh, yeah. and keep it moving. Oh, yeah. And look, uh, and why couldn't they receive? Uh, well, that, that brings me to my third point. Uh, see, to those small-minded local folk, uh, um, people, uh, those people, uh, familiarity breeds contempt. Uh, look at verse 3. Uh, to local-minded, small-minded people, uh, often what you do uh, or what they used to, or what you used to do uh, is who you are to them. Amen. Uh, even though Jesus, uh, Jesus spoke uh, with the wisdom of God, uh, he was still just the carpenter and the carpenter's son. Uh, yeah. And look, uh, to the local small-minded folk, uh, wherever they meet you, uh, uh, if whatever uh, you are going to always do, uh, no matter what it is, uh, no matter what you rise to be, uh, yeah. it's hard for those small-minded folk uh, to see you doing anything else. Uh, look, can I be real with you? Uh, if they ever saw you slinging drugs on the corner, uh, amen, at one time, uh, and now they see you in service to the Lord, uh, all local minded People can say, uh, and look, uh, didn't I used to see you uh, slaying on the corner? Uh, or didn't they used to see you uh, high and tore up uh, from the floor uh, and turned up? Uh, uh, but now they see you ministering from God. Uh, all they can ask you, uh, but didn't I see you uh, drunk and high? Uh, amen. Uh, didn't I see you like that? Uh, but this, this is the thing. Uh, this is what they missing. Uh, and this is the part of growth. Uh, the key word is used to. Uh, see, I used to, amen. I used to hang in the club. I used to. I used to roll up a blunt and hang in the club. I used to. I used to check out men and women. I used to. You might have seen me doing it, but that was then. And this is now. And the Lord has changed me. The Lord has changed me to my life. Then I got a beating to you, but I thank God for my afterclass. Yeah. I'm a brand new man. Yeah. I'm a brand new person. Yeah. Great is he, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I got something great in me uh, because he changed me. Yeah. Uh, he changed the way I talk. Yeah. He changed the way I walk. Yeah. He changed the way I live. Yeah. He changed yeah. who I am. Yeah. And I'm glad yeah. 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 I'm saved. Wonderful thing. Come on, somebody. Give God some praise. from that old me, that old life, and leave that old reality on this journey and step into a newness of life and service to God. Look yeah, at those small-minded local folk. They know you. They know your mama and them. They know your daddy. They know your right, uncle right, and siblings. Yeah. They know your grandpappy and grandmammy. Your aunts and uncles. They probably even know cousins and Toto too. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, they know you. Amen. They know you well, huh? but what they don't know, huh? amen, huh? and what they don't know is now, huh? what is in you, huh? we don't know what you have in you, huh? the other folks huh? will lose their mind huh? over your gift, amen, huh? that ain't small-minded, huh? folk, huh? old folks will see you huh? and they'll recognize your anointing, huh? they'll recognize your change, huh? they'll recognize your power, they'll recognize what you do for them, huh? they'll recognize it, but them folk that know you, huh? They don't understand what you bring to the table. Huh? I remember being a little boy. Huh? Yes, used to sit at the at the little children's table huh? at right. Thanksgiving. Huh? Yes. I didn't like it, huh? but I didn't mind. Huh? Yes, but that was my place huh? yes. where I was a child. Huh? Right. As long as I had turkey in front of me, I, too, I was right. good. <laughs> I'm just saying. Huh? But I remember going back home huh? when I was about 21, huh? yes. and they told me huh? that my place was over there at the children's table. Huh? I said you are. Amen. 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 Amen.
I you all sad before I eat in the children's table. I pay mine. I pay my dues. I groan like I look holy grown. I act like a man. I work like a man. I talk like a man. You gonna let me eat like a man too. That there's something within me, uh, but those local minded folks, uh, sometimes they can't get past the fact that to them, uh, you just ain't much. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, that feeling of you being inferior in their eyes, uh, but willing to step out uh, and to step up for the for the glory of God, uh, make them local minded folks angry. Uh, and at the end of verse 3, uh, they say that they were offended. Uh, why in the world would you be mad? Uh, why would you be mad? Uh, when local boy makes good, why in the world would you be mad? Or when that this same Jesus, you need you, you can't deny it. This same Jesus that came from Nazareth was going around in Galilee, going around in Capernaum, moving on down to Jerusalem, and doing signs and wonders. This same Jesus that did all these great exploits, now he's coming home but because because he dared to be great and. Because he dared to do great uh, and to live great in service to God. Uh, while they can only see average, uh, they denied him. Uh, and they began to find ways uh, to, to dismiss him. Uh, what others recognized was in him. Uh, and responding accordingly, they poo uh, and say, it ain't all that. Uh, go ahead, uh, let me see what you've got. Uh, you would think uh, that those that were where you are from uh, and have been through what you've been through uh, and been labeled like you been labeled uh, would be happy for you uh, and often they are uh, but check this out uh, they are not local and small minded folks uh, see yes you can be from my hood uh, and not be small minded uh, because you know uh, if you from my hood uh, and you see God blessing me uh, you see God growing me uh, you see God growing, using me uh, but then you know uh, he's in the neighborhood come on uh, and you could be next uh, somebody need to go ahead and uh, give God some the next thing I want to tell you today uh, is this. Uh, Small-minded local people uh, will not celebrate you uh, and the gift that God has placed in you. Uh, oh, but can I tell you, uh, to grow anyhow. Uh, look at verse 4 and 5. Uh, the people uh, that only see you as small-minded uh, and local, uh, they don't recognize your ability. Uh, it's not that they can't see it in you. Uh, they can. Uh, they can't see it. Uh, they can't see it in right. others. Uh, so they know what it looks like. Uh, but because you are from uh, where they are from, uh, they just refuse to see it in you. Uh, look at verse 4, amen. Uh, it says the prophet uh, is not without honor, uh, except for in his own country. Uh, because look, uh, they refuse to honor you. Uh, and the God in you. Uh, they just won't give you your props. Uh, but you can't get hung up on that. Uh, sometimes the world uh, will not celebrate you. Uh, if you ain't any for the celebration, no how. Uh, sometimes the world uh, won't acknowledge you. Uh, but you ain't any for the acknowledgement. Uh, you just gotta keep it moving. Uh, can I tell you, uh, just stand uh, in the face of folk uh, that you can bless and help. Uh, just stand in the face of folk uh, that you can praying for her and living for her and then holding close to your heart and to stand in them in their presence and see them reject you that takes some power and takes some growth. Jesus was hanging out with his three main boys and they was hanging out with Peter, James and John and they went to a city where Jesus knew he could have done some work but the people didn't receive him and the disciples said come on Jesus Let's call down some fire from heaven. Now. Go ahead and call down some fire and destroy them. And Jesus said, no, the Son of Man did not come to destroy. See, when you talk like that, that takes growth. Amen. See, that growth in you. Because look, the old me would have said, burn them all up. Man. And I thank God. Overlook some stuff uh, just to get where you need to go. Uh, and I tell you, uh, 
your continued growth uh, depends on you being able to get past that. Uh, you may or may not uh, have to move physically, but you will have to move on uh, from them mentally. Uh, you have to move on from them uh, emotionally, and yes, even move on from them uh, spiritually. Uh, Small-minded people uh, will handle your flow in the Lord uh, if you let them. Uh, that's why we have to keep it moving. Uh, the first time, uh, the small-minded local folk, uh, they expect nothing from you. Uh, pour nothing into you. Uh, and when that, uh, and when that's what they get from you, uh, they tell you, I knew it all the time. Uh, you didn't have nothing. They claim he had some. What he had, he ain't do no great work over here. I ain't seen him walking in no water. Yeah, no, I ain't walking in water. I should have threw it at you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but take heart uh, from Jesus here. Uh, Jesus could do no great miracles. Uh, and you know Jesus was a miracle worker. Uh, Jesus did no mighty acts. Uh, but you know he had done mighty acts. Uh, but it was because uh, of the hardness of the people's heart. Uh, they didn't want to see God move through Jesus. Uh, and they refused to believe on Jesus. Uh, and God, can I tell you, God will not force your gift uh, on anybody. Right. I know that's right. Amen. 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 So look, uh, ah. and don't you try to force it either. Oh, I know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes yeah. you just got to keep it uh, moving. Yeah. Jesus yeah. marveled uh, at the refusal uh, of his hometown uh, to accept him. Uh, yeah. He looked back and wondered, uh, said, don't they know uh, not just who I am, uh, but don't they know uh, what I'm willing to do for them? Uh, don't they know uh, how much I love them? Uh, don't don't they know uh, how much I pray for them? Uh, right. Don't they know uh, I want to bring the Bible to the city? Uh, don't they know I want to bring love uh, 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 to their houses? Uh, don't they know uh, I want to give them the designs of their heart? Uh, and they refuse. Uh, they refuse to let me loose. Uh, see, sometimes uh, you just got to let uh, let the anointed loose. Uh, sometimes you got to let the anointed loose. Uh, you can't hold the anointed. Uh, you can't hold back the gift. Uh, sometimes you got to let folks Go, uh, but it's your faith uh, that begin to release. Uh, see, sometimes folk won't receive you. Uh, but this is where you need to pray uh, that God will send somebody uh, that can reach them. Uh, maybe yeah. it ain't me, uh, but I thank God that He said uh, one plant uh, and He said one water. Uh, but it's God that brings the increase. Uh, it's never about you uh, or me, uh, but it's all about soul being saved. Uh, because sometimes uh, when folk won't receive you, uh, you just gotta keep it moving. So can I tell you today, don't ever be swayed by how those small-minded folks see you and see your value and how they even see your growth. Don't worry about it. Your value is in the eyes of the Lord and those that will receive you. You got to know this. Jesus, he left Nazareth still anointed. He left Nazareth still wise. He left Nazareth still Able to preach, he left Nazareth still able to teach, and he left Nazareth doing signs and wonders because signs and wonders followed, followed his ministry. He kept on growing and doing miracles and doing miracles everywhere he went. He kept on growing, he kept on praying, he kept on delivering, and he kept on seeing, seeing what the end was gonna be. And I tell you, and I tell you. The thoughts, uh, the actions, uh, the shade, uh, and the hate shown uh, by small minded people, uh, they do not stop the power, the will, Amen. the plan, the purpose, I and the hope of God as long as you know. Uh, sometimes uh, you just gotta keep it moving uh, as long as you can keep growing. Uh, can I tell you today, uh, Jesus, ever our example, uh, showed us how to keep it moving uh, uh, in the circumstances. Uh, he kept growing uh, from early on. Uh, from early on in his time on earth, uh, when Jesus was born uh, in a manger, uh, wrapped in swaddling clothes, uh, no room in the stable, no room in the inn, uh, out in a stable uh, with all the animals, uh, they did not stop him uh, from being, from becoming uh, the Lord of Lords uh, and the King of Kings. Uh, and sometimes uh, you just gotta keep it moving. 
And when the scribes and the Pharisees uh, just wanted to argue uh, about his purpose, uh, right. about his lineage, uh, about his authority, about his anointing, uh, yeah. Jesus just spoke a word to them uh, yeah. and he kept in moving. Uh, yeah. When the 5,000 were hungry uh, and he had but two fish uh, and five loaves of bread uh, yeah. to feed them with, uh, while the disciples questioned his judgment, uh, Jesus blessed what he had, uh, yeah. broke it uh, and, and kept it moving. Uh, and by the time they were done, uh, more than 5,000 uh, were fed. Uh, but Jesus was on a boat uh, with his disciples. Uh, Jesus was in uh, within a storm. Uh, and the storm began uh, to cause the boat to fill with water. Uh, Jesus got up uh, out of a hard sleep. Uh, he spoke peace, uh, calmed the wind uh, and the waves, uh, despite the disciples' fear. Uh, and he just kept it moving. Uh, and when Jesus, uh, after having been betrayed, uh, and by a friend uh, and a disciple, uh, after being betrayed, uh, by one that broke bread with him, uh, after being captured, uh, Jesus didn't freak out, uh, he didn't cry, uh, but Jesus allowed himself to be taken, uh, and he just kept it moving. Uh, Jesus being made from judgment hall, uh, from judgment hall, uh, being lied on, uh, beaten, uh, and abused, uh, he didn't say a mumbling word, uh, he just Kept it moving. Uh, when they when they nailed him uh, to a cross, uh, when they nailed his feet uh, and, he, and he nailed his hand uh, and pressed them in his side, uh, he didn't say a mumbling word. Uh, he just kept it moving. Uh, and when uh, when they pressed down the crown of thorns uh, on his head, uh, he didn't say a word. Uh, he just kept it moving. Uh, and when he cried out in his finish uh, and he gave up the post, uh, can I tell somebody? Uh, Jesus uh, just kept it moving. Uh, and look, uh, to some, uh, it didn't look like nothing was happening. Uh, where is the growth? Uh, I don't see you growing. Uh, all I see you doing uh, is being put in a bar tomb. But can I tell you, uh, Jesus still, uh, he kept it moving. Uh, and when he kept it moving uh, on the first day, uh, he told me he went on down to hell. Uh, and, uh, oh, he kept it moving. Uh, and on the second day, uh, he went down to hell uh, and he took keys uh, to the gap hell and the grave. Uh, and I tell you, he kept it moving. Uh, when he got down there, uh, he took the enemy and he made him be quiet uh, and he preached the gospel uh, and he kept it moving. Uh, but it was on the third day, uh, I'm telling you, that was moving day uh, on the third day. Uh, all that keeping it moving. Uh, all that going through. Uh, all that being talked about. Uh, all that being abused. Uh, all that being left out. Uh, all on the third day, uh, he got up uh, with all power in his hand. When he got up, uh, he got up with power. He got up with the joy, with the peace, with the love. Uh, despite what they did to him, uh, God was still working in him. Uh, and the power that he got uh, is power for you and me uh, to be able to keep the movement, uh, keep it going, uh, despite the obstacles, despite what they say, and keep it growing. Uh, don't you stop growing. Uh, don't you stop living. Uh, don't you stop being. Uh, don't you stop doing. Uh, stand up for Jesus. Be you soldiers of the cross. Stand up, stand up, stand up, uh, and grow, grow, grow. Sometimes you just got to keep it moving. To get all that God has for you. Sometimes you got to keep it moving. To go beyond the naysayers and the dollars. Sometimes you got to keep it moving. To keep your spiritual sanity. Sometimes you got to keep it moving. To get your anointing. Sometimes you got to keep it moving. To keep your joy. Sometimes you got to keep it moving to keep your peace. Sometimes you got to keep it moving to hold on to your salvation, but just keep it moving. Come on, Christ. Christ don't say it. Amen. Christ don't say it. Hallelujah. Glory.